guys, so if you're watching this video right now, remember Project Tour Garage is open seven days a week and we have a big selection of headlights, tail lights for 9906, 07 to 13, and we don't have 14 and up, so we can get some though. Uh, we have headlights, tail lights, third brake lights, and we also have the light bulbs. So if you guys wanna come pick one up, we're here at Project Tour Garage, and like I said, we're open seven days a week. Park Tour Garage. Right here we have this badass trailer that's got airbags. And over here we got this badass Mustang built by Boy Bakura. No charger or what? No charger, nitrous. In the boy. Yeah, Stock motor, but it's got the Manuel's 10 or 80. Uh, stock converter, all that stuff. So. Hell yeah. Man, that thing looks sick. <laughs> But uh, no, it makes 700 without the nitrous and then 800 with it. Like, Damn it, boy. Like 790, but we call it 800. So, what's the plan for this one, boy? Yeah, well, we did all the performance stuff, and then I'm waiting on all the suspension stuff. We're going to do all the drag racing suspension on it, and then, uh, you know, coilovers and all that. And then, uh, while we were waiting on the parts, he wanted a stereo system, so I was like, well, another guy's to go to. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a badass build you did here. Check it out, guys. So, I guess you want a sound system in here? but then all the speakers replaced and all that. Oh, okay, uh, so in the truck, he wants the something. Yeah, it's got the stock speaker, but he doesn't, he says not enough. So, so he wants like a... Yeah, he wants like a custom box. Something that closes everything out? Yeah, up in there. Though. He's on his way, actually. He's a couple minutes away. Okay. Um, so he'll be able to tell you exactly what he wants. Hell yeah, man, it's a badass rack. So yeah, guys, we're gonna be putting a sound system on here, and uh, Keith is gonna get down with the custom box, and of course, Vargas is gonna do all the wiring and everything on it. So that could be another another reason why you know you're getting a lot of bad reception on your Bluetooth calls and stuff like that because the the microphones are picking up the exhaust and what it wants to do is it wants to reverse that sound and then try to block it out of your speakers and that could be another reason why your Bluetooth is, is oh, yeah so we can test just disconnecting them it's not going to damage anything or anything like that we'll disconnect them and uh, yeah. yeah I never right. thought of that yeah. Like so the, the AC will years ago, it was like 20, yeah, 2013 or 2014, I did 212s in, in a newer Mustang of the year or whatever. And it, we had a problem where anytime he would rev it, the subwoofers would rev. Oh, wow. Because the microphone was yeah. catching the, the exhaust and trying to re revert it, and it was making it play through the subwoofer. So we'll probably have to disconnect those those microphones just to make sure you get a nice, nice clean sound. You're not getting any of that feedback from those microphones. Will he still be able to make calls and stuff? Yes. No, no, no. Yeah. So the ANC is just like a comfort thing, luxury thing, but it, your Bluetooth call should still work fine. Um, the Bluetooth mic is separate from the ANC. So yeah, we can do something. I was telling them on this car, there's a kill switch right here. So if you ever need any. Forward? Yeah, if you need it, something right there, you can do it to that. You can do it however you want. Yeah. And so that's, uh, right now, that's wired. It's not going to kill the whole power of the car. It's going to kill the power of the fuel pump. There's a three inch mid, and then you have two gears up on the eight pillar. Yeah, um, I it so right we could do something something real clean and simple. We'll just do a six and a half and a tweeter component set, regular okay. component set, and that'll give you enough volume. It should sound really good, but if you're wanting, you know, I'm sure you're not wanting like a, a opera, you know, no. kind of sound. So yeah, I mean techno, rap. Yeah, yeah. Some just something good yeah. sounding, loud enough to get over the exhaust, all that good stuff. Yeah, so we'll probably just do a little component set. Nothing in the rear? I wouldn't. The thing is, I always tell my customers when you're at a concert, 
do you listen to what's behind you or do you listen to what's in front of you? When you're investing in a higher end system, it doesn't make sense to have speakers in the back. Yeah. I would rather here's a point forward, yeah. So the other thing is I would rather invest if you're gonna spend let's say you spend three hundred dollars on a rear set of speakers, I would rather invest that in the front because that's what's more important. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So right. instead yeah, of yeah. instead of doing, you know, a mid level and a mid level, why don't we just go a little more expensive in the front because that's where all the sound matters. One sub or two subs? So I'm thinking I'm thinking two. I'm thinking two tens. We could have that four channel amp where two channels run the six and a halfs and two channels run the tweeters. Just gives you a little more tunability, stuff like that. But two amps. two amps for sure. I did watch the new one. What is it? The nine? Yeah. F9 or yeah. something? They went in space and shit. Right. I had to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I had to turn that off. Yeah. We are headed to outer space. As long as we obey the laws of physics, then we'll be fine, okay? He's in space in a scuba suit. I told you numbers don't lie. This is crazy, bro! Está un perro, Todo es clean. So, I did a subwoofer box in uh, Midnight Miata's Miata. When he came in, his little wing pieces had broken. I uh, kind of broke them on accident. So he came to me, he said he wanted a whole new design for his wing. So this is what we came up with. Well, he designed it, I made it. Uh, these are gonna be the uprights for the wings. He's got a little Japanese uh, writing on it. And right now I'm just engraving those logos on the side of it. Once I get done with that, then I can make the end plates for the wing and then he can come pick it up, get it installed. So make sure you check it out, Midnight Miata on Instagram. And I think it's Midnight Miata on YouTube as well. So um, check him out, he's getting followers really fast and he's doing a lot of cool stuff to his Miata, so. Thanks for watching this video. Remember, stay tuned for all the videos on this car. We are going to be taking it apart and doing a badass sound system on it. Uh, we also, JR, whenever he comes back, he's been on a break. Whenever he comes back, he's going to be doing custom pipe right here for the uh, intake. So stay tuned for all those videos, guys. Like I said, all the upcoming videos will be about this Mustang. Yes, almost. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and do me a favor, guys. If you're watching this right now, share it on your story. Tag me, tag Danny, tag Oscar, tag Vargas, whoever you want to tag from the crew. Tag us. We'll repost it, and do me another favorite and hit that like button we got to get this video to at least 5,000 likes i tell guys